Hello, I'm Carl Seibert. Thanks for joining me. Today, let's take a look and see what WordPress does with an IPTC caption. Here we have a test photo. And on our test photo, we have some sample metadata. This is actually the Joe Photographer sample template that you can download from my website. And we've just added a quick one sentence caption. And we've also added a headline for Joe. So, okay, let's make a web ready version of this photo. Okay, fine. Let's pop over to WordPress and see what happens. Here we have a test installation of WordPress. It's running on MAMP locally on my laptop. And we will grab our test image picture. And we will import it into our media library. Hello. Okay, there we are. Here's our picture in the media library and check it out. WordPress has read our IPTC caption and it has copied it into its own caption field in its own database in the media library. And it's here ready to go. And when we attach this picture to a page or a post, we'll attach the caption too. So we don't have to rewrite the caption, which is really pretty cool. So let's do that. We'll dismiss that. And we'll go to a waiting empty post. And we will insert our picture into the post. There we go. There's our picture. And here's our caption. And right here in the post on the page, we can edit our caption. And I was going to type page, but it's really a post. So we'll type post. There you have it. So WordPress took our caption, copied it into its database. And when we put the picture on a post or a page, it comes caption complete. And this is the original caption. We haven't had to retype. We haven't had to cut and paste. We haven't had to do any of that nonsense. So if details like spellings of names and that sort of things were correct on our original version, they're going to be correct right here. And we can edit in the visual editor right on the page. Now we can also click on this picture on the page, click on the little pencil, and we bring up an editing dialog. And as you can see, the edit we made right on the page appears in this dialog. We can edit this, we can edit in the dialog and our edits will appear on the page, but they will not propagate back to the media library. So there's a directionality to our inheritance here. WordPress read our caption from our original file and put it in the media library. From the media library, it went to the page, but none of this happens in reverse. You can edit on the page. It only affects that page. The next time you use the picture, the original media library caption will be applied with the picture and WordPress does not right back to your original file. So your original metadata on your original file is untouched. Let's go back to the media library and we'll go back to this picture. And here's our caption. And as you can see, the edits that we made on the page do not appear here. Now, here is the headline that we put on our original picture. And WordPress has put it in a field that WordPress calls the title field. So that's interesting. And in fact, if we look in our media library, in the list view, here we have that headline. It appears with each picture in the media library. We'll pop back to grid view and pop back to our picture. 
I might add that the same directional inheritance works with alt text, works with any of the fields, really, that you can edit in the media library. And indeed, it's probably a good idea to put your alt text on your image here in the media library, because alt text, if you use the image over and over again, it isn't going to change. If you have a picture of the CEO of your company, it's always going to be a picture of the CEO of your company. And you just save yourself some work, and you save yourself the opportunity to forget to put the alt text on the picture on the page. And if you do need to change it on the page, that editor dialog on the page will work just fine for you. Now, if we go down one more field in our editor here in our media library, we have something called the description. And this is a little bit confusing because if you remember back in Photo Mechanic, Photo Mechanic called the caption the description slash caption. And in fact, that's exactly what the IPTC standard says. You can call this field either one of those things or both. If we'd started out in Photoshop, our caption would have been the description field. In X in View, caption field. And in Lightroom, for reasons that no one outside of Adobe knows, it could be either, depending on the exact view that you call of your metadata pane in Lightroom. The caption is sometimes called the caption, and sometimes it's called the description. And here we are in WordPress, and we have something else altogether called the description. So I was certainly confused by this. So I did some research and figured out what this thing really does. Let's put some text in it. There. And it turns out that the description field actually belongs to something called the attachment page, which is a sort of a post that WordPress makes for every image in the media library. And here we have it. Here is the attachment page for this picture. And as you can see at the top, it's got my header, it's got my branding, it's got menus, all of those kind of things. Here's a nice big rendition of the picture. Here is the caption for the picture as it appears in the media library. Here is the contents of our IPTC headline field that WordPress copied into its title field and used as the title for the picture in the list view in the media library. And here is this mysterious description thing. It's a text block. It can be, I think, as long as you want. It can be pretty big. And it appears under this headline on the attachment page. So, in this case, we're assuming this was maybe Joe's website, and maybe Joe can tell us here about how he came to shoot this picture. But of course, Joe doesn't exist. And you can do anything you want with this page and this descriptive text block. Now, you can't edit this page. There is no editor for it. So your caption is gonna be exactly what is in your caption in the media library, Ditto for the headline, which is called the title in the media library, and ditto for the mysterious description. You edit it in the media library, and it appears here, and that's that. Now, what in the world can you do with this attachment page? That's a good question. It turns out, when you add a picture to a page or to a post, you have some options. And you've seen this because you've added pictures to pages and posts before, but we'll just go there and take a look. We'll hit the Add Media button. We'll choose a picture. And here on the right rail, in the ensuing dialog, we see the title, the caption, the alt text. And by the way, edits here will appear both on the page and in the media library. And down at the bottom, we have our alignment and we have what we want to link the picture to. Normally, we would link the picture to the media file. 
That results in expected behavior. When a visitor comes to your post, they click on a picture, they want to see the larger version of the picture, and that's exactly what they get if you just link to the media file. However, if you want to, you could link to the attachment page. You could also, if you noticed in the pull-down, link to any arbitrary page that you want to. But let's do this. We'll insert this picture into the post again. We will choose link to the attachment page. And just for the sake of variety, we'll make the picture smaller this time. There we are. Here's our little picture. It's on the page. Let's save that. and we'll pull a preview of it. Here is our test post. And here is our new small picture that we just inserted. And sure enough, it's a link. And if we click on it, we get the attachment page. So there you have it. If you want visitors to click on your pictures to see a big version, and you want to take them to a page that has your branding and your navigation, and a headline and a text block instead of simply to a large version of the picture in a black surround. That's what you can do with the attachment page. And here on the attachment page is the mysterious and confusing description. Remember, you can only edit this thing in the media library. There is no editor for it. So, that's how it works. That's what WordPress does with your captions, which is really pretty cool. And again, I'm Carl Seibert. Thanks for watching. Please reach out in the comments or in social media. And until next time, mind your metadata.